Hey there, welcome to another video in the series in which we are learning how to build your own e-commerce business in India, how to build your own print-on-demand based business using Blinker Store. And in this video, we will talk about how to customize your product uh, by uploading custom mockups. So Blinker Store offers this a feature where you can upload your own custom photos on each product and make your product stand out and look a little bit more better uh, for the buyers. So custom mockups are mockups that you generate by putting your uh, your logo, your designs on images of real people and then upload them uh, on Blink Store. So while you are designing your product, there's an option to customize and you can upload up to six mockups. I am going to design a mockup right now in this video using a tool called Mocky.ai. So I'll just go to Mocky, upload my uh, hustle hard uh, icon, the logo on this website and I can immediately see this logo in action on a lot of hoodies uh, and there are a lot more product on Mocky that you can use for now we are just looking for a hoodie so I'll just find a mock-up that looks good uh, to me for my brand I think this mock-up fits uh, the kind of product I have and I'll just uh, customize this and download it so you can also order your own uh, apparels your own products and do a custom photo shoot on your own and then upload those product photos on blink store to make your store look a lot better but when you're starting up this could be another way to compensate for that and i have just designed it i can now download it mock is free so you can download as many mockups without watermark and upload them on blink store so my download is complete. I can now go to my Blink Store's dashboard. So since this product is already live, I cannot edit this from the store editor. I have to go to products on the left hand side right here. This gives me the entire list of all the products I have designed so far. So this is the unisex hoodie I want to edit. I'll go into actions, I'll click on edit, and there's an option to customize it. On the top left corner, I can click on customize and here you will see that you can upload up to six custom mockups right here. And mockups will appear in this order. So if you are uploading a one here, that will be the number one image. And I'll just quickly go here, upload this one. Then Blink Store will ask if you want to crop this in any way. I think I can just crop this a little bit to zoom in on the photo. I'll click on crop and upload. Uh, we highly recommend that you use custom mockups for almost all your apparels because especially apparels are the kind of products that people would like to see on uh, others before they make a purchase decision. Now it's uploaded, I'll just click on update. Sometimes when your mockup file is too big, like four, five, six MB in size, it might take a few seconds to upload. So just wait for that. It is uploaded, I have updated this. I can go back to my product uh, listing page I can just hit refresh and that image will appear right here so this is all you need to do to upload custom mockups uh, if you have designed products already while you are designing the product and you want to upload custom mockups you will still see the same customize option on the top left corner you can click on that and upload custom mockups and this suddenly elevates the look and feel of the store um, and I'll just quickly do one more thing I'll go back uh, here, I'll finish this. Uh, I'll go to my store and edit the store. Since I don't have a lot of products to show on this store, I don't have a lot of designs to show. I can also hide these two sections here. So I'll click on customize the store, uh, scroll all the way down, and there's an option to shop, uh, hide shop by category. I'll click on this and hide shop by design. So by hiding these, I can bring my uh, products a little bit above. If you are a designer who is selling primarily based on your design it's recommended to keep your designs live if you are a brand which has a lot of variety of products uh, highly recommended to keep your shop by category live and that's all so that is all for this video um, when you are designing your your store uh, i recommend that uh, create really nice mock-ups um, if you are good with photoshop you can use that product if you uh, want to use any other mock-up generator other than mocky you just need to do one thing, search for this term, mockup generator on Google, and you will find a lot more solutions for this. Thank you so much.